All right, guys, we do have a lot going on with the Jacksonville situation. Where are they going to be playing? There's polls out, and there's new renderings that I was not aware of, and I'm guessing a lot of other people not aware of these renderings. Camping World Stadium, one of the perceived threats to host the Jaguars, talking about almost a billion dollar renovation. Camping World Stadium did receive a renovation back in 2014, but it is very aged, especially looking at its upper deck seating, very uncomfortable. And they want to pay for it through taxes, which is going to be pretty tough, while Camping World Stadium is home to the New Year's Day Citrus Bowl and now also home to an XFL team. It struggles to compete with other stadiums for college football playoff games. It also hosts concerts and things like that, but you would think with a massive renovation, I'm going to show the photos of what, what the renovation would be. I would imagine this would be kind of a worse version of Hard Rock Stadium. It has this exact same canopy type design, and there's actually more seating that would be added, including two more upper deck areas and you can see it's kind of like a carbon copy of what Hard Rock Stadium did where at each corner there's like a video board and then also there's a different exterior look you can see these models show it potentially hosting a national championship if they're able to do this in the coming years you would think they might be a threat to host Jacksonville when they have their 1.4 billion dollar stadium renovation they're calling it the stadium of the future they're bringing in the translucent roof that's going to take two full years to complete camping world stadium didn't know these renderings existed you can see the two new upper deck areas behind each end zone that would all be new seating and they would expand the capacity uh, up around 70,000 at least also, it looks like new suite level seating as well, uh, located right next to where the upper decks are. And there is it with the canopy overhang. That canopy looks very similar to the MLS type designs we're seeing. Also, the European soccer models. That's what they're all going to start doing. It gives you the shade, especially being in Florida, while also being an open stadium. Unlike the Jacksonville model, which is completely closed, this would be open. Again, similar to what Hard Rock Stadium is trying to do. And there also was a poll uh, where would you like to see the Jaguars play during the stadium renovations? And the main contenders right now, it is Camping World Stadium, it is Daytona International Speedway, and then it is Ben Griffith Stadium, home of the Florida Gators. I would say the most obvious choice would be Camping World Stadium, but this potential renovation kind of muddles the water if they really want to do this and it costs $800 million, what is the timeline on this renovation? Would it take a year? Would it take a year and a half, two years? You would theoretically definitely have to renovate the upper deck of Camping World Stadium because apparently it is really uncomfortable and it's not up to NFL level. So they would at least at minimum need a renovation to the upper deck. But could you see a world where Camping World Stadium goes under construction in 2024 and 2025 and then, you know, the Jaguars move in for two seasons while TIAA Bank Field undergoes its renovation in 2026 and 2027. That could possibly happen. The Daytona Speedway seems like a last resort. It just doesn't seem... Like, if you look at where Daytona International Speedway is in relation to Camping World Stadium... They're both pretty far away from Jacksonville. It's not like the Speedway is 10 minutes away and Camping World is an hour. So, I, like, to me, the Daytona thing is just last resort if the Camping World is not up to standard, if they can't raise the money to get the, the renovated upper deck at the very least. I do see this being an option. A lot of it's going to have to be worked out, of course. And then we do have a Jacksonville Jaguars from a few days ago. Major update emerges over teams' possible plans during the renovation. A report has emerged that has suggested the Jaguars might have to alter their plans when they go through re renovations. The Jaguars might not have to move away for a few seasons after all, but it could cost them a pretty penny to do so, a report has claimed. So I don't know if anyone has seen this, but, you know, obviously Jaguars fans 
clearly against any type of move going into Trevor Lawrence's prime. You know, they won a playoff game last year. If they have to move for a few seasons, that is demoralizing. So there is the idea that they could host games while the renovation and the construction is going on. The issue is it would take two more years to complete. So it would be a four-year slowed construction because you would have to account for the NFL season where you'd have to stop construction completely. And then also it would cost an extra $120 million. So I do not see this idea as legitimate unless they're just obsessed with staying in Jacksonville and they see that maybe their championship window is coming and they don't want the Jaguars to be in a different city playing theoretical home games with a juggernaut type team. So they would be like, okay, we'll take longer. It'll cost more money, but because there'll be more fans here, it'll be better. The fan base wants it. That They could theoretically stay, but it would take two more years because again, you know, that would be so hard to do construction with the games going on and the season going on. It really delays it and then it would cost more money because you'd have to deal with accommodating fans as the construction happens and things like that and just kind of a delayed over a longer period of time. So I don't see that as a realistic option unless they are just obsessed with staying you know, home in Jacksonville. It feels much more likely, you know, Camping World Stadium. That's a tough ask. You're asking for $800 million. I mean, looking at the renderings, yeah, that's what it would cost. You know, if you're going to do all of that, if you're adding two upper deck areas, four new scoreboards, and a canopy, yeah, it's going to cost a lot of money, especially nowadays, especially in Orlando, Florida. Of course, all of this coming after the Orlando Dreamers pitch for an expansion team or a relocation. Orlando, Florida right now, they're trying to get in the game. They only have the magic. They're trying to get some type of MLB team. They're trying to maybe get a temporary NFL team as well. Worst case scenario, Jacksonville doesn't come you, you renovate the stadium, and at least you have a decent enough stadium to host possible playoff games. Looks like in that rendering, also, they would kind of add another little facade to it, almost like a wooden-type facade to the exterior of it right there. You can see that. Also, looks like there's a few little lakes. Oh, no, those are already there. I thought they were going to add man-made little ponds, but... We will have to see what happens with the whole Camping World Stadium, the Jacksonville Stadium saga. I did see they were exploring the Daytona International Speedway with a meeting. So they had a meeting with reps from Daytona to see how practical it would be. You know, that just seems ridiculous. I think they're trying to lay out their options right now. The key thing with Camping World, minimum, you would have to at least have it undergo an upper deck renovation where they would change out the seating to accommodate NFL fans and make it more comfortable. But if you really want to talk about timelines and trying to align it perfectly, could we be looking at Camping World getting a renovation in 2024, 2025, Jacksonville moving to Camping World after its renovation is complete to play two seasons there and then moving back home after 2027 when TIAA Field and its huge translucent roof design with open air is installed in 2028. All of this is moving targets. This has not even been funded. Again, this is a lot of taxpayer money. It's going to be a big ask, but there is speculation going on right now that that is something that could happen. And then, of course, we have the two other situations right now in the NFL. I'm really looking to see if anything happens this offseason. You know, I really hope something comes out about one of these because it's just uh, it's good content. But it's the Cleveland Browns and the Carolina Panthers, both rumored to have wanted a, st a stadium rebuilt. Actually, I can quickly talk about the Chicago Bears as well because they're dealing with some things. They don't know where they're going. The rumors now with Chicago, they might actually stay with Soldier Field, which would just shock me. I still think all of this where if you're following the Chicago situation, there's all these different cities in and around Chicago saying, we can have the Bears, we can have the Bears, we want to make a pitch. It seems like it's all crap. I still think they're going to Arlington Heights. They want a whole sports complex campus in Arlington Heights. 
and that seems most likely the funding of it's going to be an issue because it's a $3.5 billion dome stadium that they're trying to get, but I still do think that is most likely for Chicago. Like most of these mega projects, especially when it comes to stadiums, they move at a snail's pace. You get a lot of different things where it becomes like a leverage play. And they try and get other cities involved, so Arlington Heights gives them a better deal, and that's kind of what's going on there, I think, at least when it comes to that. And then Carolina and Cleveland, I do wonder if we get any news on either one of those two. The Browns did come out and say that they had planned a billion-dollar renovation or rebuild, whatever you want to call it, and Carolina wants a $1.2 billion renovation for reference Jacksonville's is 1.4 billion but the original idea before these recent renderings came out was Jacksonville was going to be around a billion and they've had to up it to 1.4 after the recent renderings after the inflation mess within the United States it, it's it's gotten up a little bit and the entire area in and around TIAA Bank Field is around $2.2 billion total. So they're doling out a lot of money. Even Camping World Stadium, $800 million in tax money. How is that going to work for Orlando? That That's a tough one to swallow, especially nowadays where seems like we're kind of going more towards privately financed, with, which I think should be the case. These billionaires need to pool their money together. They make money off of the team. They can afford the stadiums. It is what it is. Camping World's a little bit different, though, because it really doesn't have any tenants So that could kind of muddle the waters on who pays for it exactly, possibly being taxpayer money. But that is the update. We'll have to see if Jacksonville does go to Camping World Stadium for two years. Maybe they do the whole thing where they stay in Jacksonville and, and, you know, it's an extended renovation where it's delayed because they don't want to leave and it happens over four years. I think that's unlikely and it would cost them more money, but it is a thing where Jacksonville's entering a really good window as long as they re-sign Trevor Lawrence and they've dealt with so many bad years. It's like you're going to take the team away when they're in their prime. So we'll have to see what happens, but guys, that is going to do it for this video. Make sure you follow me on Twitter. Link to that's always in the description.